guys it's Kumbi Case. welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today I'm gonna be doing another review on my Louis Vuitton mini pichette I've got her in the Damier Abin print I absolutely adore her and Louis Vuitton has other prints they have the monogram print and then they also have the Damier Azor uh, I personally chose the Damier Abin just because of the red lining inside that's really what sold me on this I'm just gonna talk a little bit about her what fits inside and if I think she's worth it so I actually got this for my reseller and I got this for about 685 Australian dollars and as you all know or you may know that this is a rare piece to find it's very hard to find you can never get it on the website like I tried contacting them but it's never in stock because it's such a popular piece and if you're lucky to have a CA obviously it might make it a bit easier for you but we don't all have that privilege so unfortunately I had to get it from a reseller for a higher price currently this retails for 485 Australian dollars on the Louis Vuitton website so I've had my mini pichette for about five months now and to be honest I haven't really used her that much but whenever I have used her I have found her very very useful I've mostly used her as a catch-all in my backpack she just carries my essentials and she just keeps my bag organized which I love I love her versatility just like the key clay this has so much versatility you can use her as a wristlet, a catch-all in your bag. You can use her like as a little like bum bag or belt bag. You can also just carry her as a little mini bag just like that. I'm not really into that as much just because this is just too short of a strap for my liking. I think maybe I might possibly do a different video on how you can actually style it and like wear it because she's so so versatile. There's so many ways that you can style her. So Louis Vuitton describes the mini pochette as a stylish way of carrying your essentials and I absolutely agree. I think it's just a classic design. As you can see it has that rounded shape. It has the grained leather as well. And the nice gold hardware and nice true gold that I love. It also has Louis Vuitton engraved right there as well as on the zip and the D-ring if you can see that so you do have the option of hot stamping it right there like I've seen a few girls do it but they actually didn't recommend it to me when I tried to get it hot stamped they said that it might damage it so I decided not to but I guess if I do want to sell it one day I can but I don't see myself doing that but I mean if I ever am to change my mind or if I ever need a few extra bucks then I can sell it if I want to so the d-ring here does offer you that versatility to obviously hook it here so you can hook it on here and then carry it as a wristlet so I love that versatility or you can just leave it like that and let it hang like that and just carry it as a clutch which is another way you can also use this little guy I don't currently have anywhere in tear as I've only had her for about five months and like I said I haven't really used her that much because we were in lockdown for a while so I haven't used it that much but yeah she looks brand new so I'm 
I'm gonna just talk about what can actually fit in here. Like I said, this may be a small piece, but you'd be surprised what can actually fit. I'll just say though that my phone actually doesn't fit in here. I have an iPhone 8. And unfortunately, it doesn't actually fit, but then my phone is always in my hand anyway. I don't really feel the need to stuff it in here. So I guess it just depends on your preference. I'll just get into what I have in here. So first of all, I have my car keys. And then I've got my AirPods. This is just the cheaper version of like AirPods. And then I have my two cards. So it's my driver's license and my debit card. I don't actually have a card holder at the moment. I'm planning on purchasing one maybe for Christmas. I know I need one. I'm thinking maybe like the Louis Vuitton reverse monogram one. Maybe a YSL card holder. I'm not sure but you can fit a card holder in here. Next up I have my nail and cuticle oil. This is by Body Shop. This is just a bit convenient if you just want to moisturize your cuticles on the go. Next up, I have my scrunchie. And then I have my Medica Cosmetica mirror. And then I have my powder by Hourglass in dim light. And then I have this body warmer from uh, Winter. Probably don't need this right now anymore as we're getting into summer here in Australia. And then I have my Listerine Oral Care Strips. Some of these products I talked about in my What's in My Bag if you haven't watched that. And then I have a hand cream by Body Shop. And then lastly I have my gum. I usually carry the pack but I just have these two right now. And then inside it's just that nice luxurious lining that I love so much absolutely love it and from what I can see not too much wear and tear but I do need to be careful about keeping this clean and not put like makeup in it but yeah she's looking good guys she's looking good also this is a made in France if I didn't already mention that so that's everything and let's close her up and that's her I mean you could probably fit a few more things I'm sure but I don't really usually like to overstuff I just carry what I need for that day so in conclusion guys do I think this is worth it I think yes if you do want to splurge and treat yourself I think it's worth it only because of the versatility I mean if you could only use this only one way for $485 that's not really worth it but because you can use her in so many different ways and wear her so many different ways then I do recommend this and I do think that this is worth it if you can get your hands on it I think you should make the splurge you won't regret it that's it for this video guys if you got through this you're a real one like the video comment down below if you like this video or if you have this item tell me your experience or if you're thinking of buying this then let me know if this video helped you in making your purchase again please subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video